I am a surgeon at the University of Cincinnati. I trained both in general surgery and then did a fellowship in surgical oncology, but then chose to focus primarily on breast disease and breast cancer. Well, I've known Dr. Beth Shaughnessy for many years. Uh, she came here uh, close to 20 years ago as a breast surgeon and is absolutely phenomenal in every respect. She is everything you'd ever ask for as a physician, as a colleague, as a friend, and really one of the all-time great human beings I've ever known. People learned necessarily what they had to do with breast cancer, but then when someone would come into the emergency room with a breast problem, if it wasn't a cancer, they didn't know what to do with it. So I was constantly just trying to find out how is the best way to do this. And maybe it's because I knew and learned as a, as a third grader that when I was out playing with my friends, in the outdoors on, in the spring. The city of Chicago would spray the neighborhoods with a cloud of insecticide to help prevent mosquitoes. That was DDT. And the most sensitive times for mutations to occur are like right before puberty, <laughs> just right when this all happened. So I always thought in the back of my mind, I need to, you know, I need to keep an eye out and I need to have a healthy lifestyle. I was convinced I was going to be diagnosed. And so in my mind, I had already worked through all my algorithms. You know, what I found on self-exam um, was a one and a half centimeter mass. Mammogram showed nothing. I had to guide them to where they needed to use an ultrasound to take a look. And yes, they saw it. And yes, it was suspicious. I know what I'm looking at. And uh, what surprised us was that the biology somehow changed between what we saw and what, what we found is that it turned out to be two tumors, much larger, four and a half and three centimeters. I've finished the surgical removal. I've done the chemotherapy. I would classify Dr. Shaughnessy as a survivor and a thriver. She just keeps moving forward. I mean, she has her energy, uh, her, her uh, strength, her courage, her perseverance are, are incredible and, and truly inspirational to everybody that interacts with her. In going through my training as a surgeon, people are always would say, well, you, ha you have to remain detached, aloof. To be honest with you, I, I could never do that. I would always get to know my patients, you know, what they're doing, what's important to them, and some of the things that I've learned going through this, as opposed to what I learned how to take care of a patient and what they're going through, is that it really does take a village to get a person through this.